Understanding the phrase, cutting off, in English. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we make English language learning fun and easy. Today, we are going to explore the phrase, cutting off. This phrase is commonly used in English but can be a bit tricky to understand for learners. So, let's dive in and clarify its meanings and usage. The phrase, cutting off, has a literal meaning which is quite straightforward. It means physically removing a part of something by cutting. For example, she was cutting off the dead branches from the tree. This usage is very direct and usually involves some form of physical separation or removal. Cutting off is also often used in a figurative sense. In social contexts, it means stopping someone from speaking or interrupting them. For instance, he kept cutting me off during the meeting, implies that he was interrupting and not allowing the speaker to finish their sentences. This usage is very common in everyday conversations. In the realm of technology and services, cutting off takes on another meaning. It refers to stopping or discontinuing a service. For example, my phone service was cut off because I didn't pay the bill. Here, it indicates the cessation of a service due to some reason, often non-compliance or non-payment. Lastly, there are idiomatic expressions that use cutting off. A common one is cutting someone off from something, which means preventing access to something. For example, they were cut off from the internet for a week. This phrase can be used in various contexts, ranging from social to material access. That's all about the phrase, cutting off. We hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase accurately in different contexts. Whether it's the literal act of removing something, interrupting someone in conversation, discontinuing a service, or preventing access, cutting off is a versatile phrase in the English language. Don't forget to practice using it in sentences. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.